Yes, God, Nessa girl, what's the tea, bitch? Chad, did you see this last episode of Real Housewives of Atlanta? If you couldn't tell, honey, my hair is laid like Anguilla, bitch. Because clearly, your hair looking a mess was a prerequisite in order for you to cross the border. Okay. Chad Cheese. The first train wrecks I had do started out with Miss Candy, honey. Candy got out the limo with her favorite pair of jeans on, wearing that wet and wavy. Chad Candy looked like rescue poodle, honey. No God, Miss Candy. No God, honey. And Chad, everybody knows that the recession must have hit the fuck out of Miss Fedra because Fedra hair was a mess the whole way through. Fedra looked like she had got took the boat to the airport because she got that hair just looking toe up. I know Lawrence, Derek J. Hell, you still all right with Kim. You could have borrowed one of Kim wigs. And child, did you see how the cameraman read the fuck out of Nene? No, look. We're going to take a moment of silence for Nene Leak's hair. Bitch, mama hair was so ate up in the back. Her hair was laid like, ooh, god damn it. I said, Miss Nene, no god, honey. It was just all, it had looked like, like termites and bed bugs had done got a hole to it. Like somebody had put a root on her. Okay, yes, god, honey. But I will say, bravo. Housewives of Atlanta has gotten better with this episode, honey. I'm so glad it picked up because I thought y'all was on y'all way out. Now, Cynthia, Cynthia was looking good. The color she was wearing was looking good. Portia looked it good. Who else looked it good? Todd looked it good. Oh, bitch, did you see Peter with that, um, with that pink shirt on, bitch? Peter looked it good, okay? Even Greg, old uh, Goodyear blip shaped ass, looked it good. He looked it good for an old man. But let's get into this trip. Now, catch these teas, honey. Peter, y'all wrong because I think it's messed up for y'all. Even if one Escalade was given courtesy um, for y'all to make everybody else ride in that hot ass van, okay? I just thought that was real funky, okay? It was real classes. You should have just rented another van. Now, I don't been down to buy one plenty of times with you and Cynthia and bought that high-ass tapas food on that menu. So, I know y'all got money. And when I go in there on Sundays, the bitch be packed. So, stop being cheap. You could have rented a van, I mean, an Escalade for everybody else to ride in. Kenya, if I was Portia, I would have spit in your damn face at that airport. Grow the fuck up. You gonna walk past the girl and not speak like you just said, girl, you so childish. <coughs> oh girl. This cold hat don't got the best of me, honey. Anyway, pardon me, honey. I had a little bit too much fun this weekend, honey. This hangover catching up with me. But child. Oh, that cough had to make me lose my train of thought. What else for to say? <coughs> See, I'ma get Tony because I told him not in my throat. I told that bitch, uh-uh, I said, you better tell me when, tell me, ooh, don't be letting them be inside of my your throat, that's why I got a cold now, child, anyway, so they get to the trip, let's get to the meat and potatoes of it, Kenya on the thing talking to Walter with her old thirsty ass, pretty much begging him for a ring, do you know how to shop for diamonds? Do you know how to buy diamonds? Bitch, that is so unattractive. What the fuck? What kind of newfangled beggar man for a wedding type of shit is this? You know what? You don't need to be on Real Housewives of Atlanta. You need to be on Love and Hip Hop New York or Chrissy and Mr. Jones. Because you and Chrissy, y'all down with some new shit. Is you down with OPP? No, you know me. You is crazy. Y'all with this beggar man to marry me. Child cheese, get the fuck out of here. Walter looked like he was not interested at all. Walter looked like he was paid to go on that trip. Walter looked like he did not want to be there. Walter looked like a whole lot of damn things, but Kenya husband ain't one of them. Okay, child. That first night, Kenya was <clears throat> flirting with Apollo and carrying on. She pushed him in the pool, you know. And I mean, and you know, when people get around the pool, we push each other in the pool. I ain't never been married, but I catch that. Phaedra was like, I don't like that. You know, you just all that. 
it, it is. You don't put your hands on other people's husband. You just don't. Then, but here's the real gag. Apollo picked her up and threw her in the pool, had his hands all on her ass and stuff. Now, I'm going to tell you something. In order to keep that confusion, Apollo, you're not stupid. You see Kenya flirting with you and you act like you're real receptive to it. I think Fedra ought to cuss your ass the fuck out because it's your job to check Kenya. When she do all that flirting and stuff, don't smile back. <clears throat> Look at the bitch like you don't see it. Or say to her, Kenya, do you not see my wife sitting here? Like, Apollo, grow the fuck up. Okay? Which, see, that's why I don't do them light-skinned dudes. Yo, child, and you ain't even all that hot, okay? Yellow ain't been in since D-Barge went out um, on Heron in 1992. Okay? But, child, Miss Fedra said, Honey, I'm going to show you what I'm working with. Child, Fedra had no cane down that stairs, honey. She had on old nasty, um, child, I don't know what kind of fucking boomerang or, or rubber band that was. Fedra had up in all that booty. Now, I ain't even gonna laugh, Fedra. That wasn't even attractive. Your booty looked like it's chock full of shit, okay? I knew that G-string was stanker than a motherfucker when you took it off. Child cheese, but she, <laughs> Fedra was feeling a little insecure, so she had to pull out the big guns. Bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Yes, God, Miss Fedra. You jiggling, baby. Go ahead, baby. You jiggling. <laughs> Work, Miss Fedra. She said, don't mess with her, man. You ain't finna fuck her husband. Down to the Anguilla. Child, what else was going on? Child, you know, Kendra got a, Kenya got a fucking problem with people's husbands. Did you see how she was tooting and booted on Peter? Bending over and making it clap? No, God, honey. And is it me? But when Kenya back was right here, her booty was up here. Girl, Kenya, I hope your booty ain't pumped with Palmer's Blue and Fixer Flat. Is you letting the drag queens pump your ass with Tag Grout? Child, I hope she didn't, She went down there with Carly Red and came and shared them, got their booty from. You dead wrong. And child, Walter was sitting up there like a little boy when Kenya was dancing on him. I hope his dingling didn't get hard for real. But I enjoyed Nene getting drunk, honey. It was real fun. Child, it's Tony Mama. She stay calling. She trying to get the Christmas party together. Child, I call her back. Child, and I ain't bringing a ham this time. See, bitches are trying to goop you, try to put you down on the list and have you bring the meat. No, bitch, when you invite somebody around to your house for a Christmas party, you supposed to get the most expensive thing. Put me down for the um for the tater salad, bitch. I'm going straight down to Publix. I'ma dump two of them things in the bowl, chop some egg up and sprinkle some paprika on it and pass it off as mine. Bitch ain't trying to goop me, honey. We just got out of the recession and I ain't trying to go back in it. Okay. Child, I tell you about Tony and his raggedy ass family later. Anyway, I'm trying to think what else was going on. Kenya was flirting with everybody. She need to grow the fuck up. Trying to make Walter jealous. Who the fuck do that at 40 something? Did you wonder why his ass won't marry you? And I'm gonna tell you something. You was bragging about how many times you've been proposed to. Ha ha! And you turned them down. Ha ha! The one you want would do you like the way you did everybody else. Yes, God, honey. Walter fixed that ass, served that ass, and then sipped out of his trough. This episode <clears throat> was much better. I'm trying to think what else am I missing anything? Oh, one thing about it, honey. Now, you didn't hear this from me. I'm going to drop a little bit of tea. So, listen. Fedra, child, don't let Fedra fool y'all. Fedra drank, cuss, and do the dutty wine with the rest of them. She had already got caught saying she didn't give a fuck F-U-C-K if Cynthia came to aid and party. Then you saw how she told Kenya, <laughs> wait, all that Southern Bell shit went right out the window, honey. Fedra went straight projects. Kenya gone from over here with all that bullshit, all right? Yes, God, she don't mess with her man. Yes, God, Miss Fedra, get that ass together. Child. I'm trying to think what else went on on the trip. I don't know. The old Nene Leaks was back. Nene was having fun. She was tooting and booting and she was drinking. Do you notice there ain't been much interaction between Nene and Candy on this trip? I don't know. But girl, let me get in here and call Tony Mama back because she called Aunt May Run and everybody and try to talk about me. It takes some robot for my throat. I'll call you later, girl. Bye.